Hey, what's up? When I started this vlog, my aim was to use it as a way to document my life for a couple of reasons. To basically create content that shows um, how I am living and the things that I'm doing, but also as a place to tackle some subjects and things that I'm thinking about, some of which may be deemed to be controversial, some of them may be topics that are not uh, necessarily spoken about that often. But the final component about what I committed to when I started to vlog was this idea of being completely open and honest with people so that people get to know who I truly am and to tackle topics around things like vulnerability. And while the last few months, pretty much since I've started this vlog, things have been pretty peachy in my life. I've been working on some really amazing projects. I've found what feels like my life's work in um, the projects that I'm busy with. And documenting that process has been pretty easy. What isn't always easy is showing up and documenting the stuff which doesn't look peaches and cream on a video vlog and that's when you have days where you start to doubt yourself or days where you feel down or days where things feel difficult and yesterday I had one of those days and for those of you that don't know I'm doing as I mentioned some of my what feels like most important work as I start to find analogy and ways to talk about the law of attraction the massive impact that it's had in my life and finding a non-fluffy non-woo-woo way to talk about this stuff so that people can take this powerful law and find practical simple ways to implement it into their life and I'm really enjoying that work I haven't spoken to too many people about it in too much detail I've sort of started to touch on it but really where I've been in the last few months has been a a roller coaster but almost just a complete downhill roller coaster in terms of my ability to just keep things going like it feels like the work is just coming to me in in exactly the right flow and in exactly the right power and the right people are coming to me at the right times and the right software applications are coming to me as a way to be able to build upon so that I can get this work out to the world and to create a space where people can share it in a community that I want to be bigger than me and that's all been amazing for the last few months until yesterday where I was running through my presentation that I'm going to be going through in sort of a, a web class type format and it's not something that I've done too much of before I've run a master class before with a couple of people but I haven't I haven't explained a concept in a way that hasn't been explained like this before and while my analogy and my story and my work that I'm doing around Law of Attraction continues to make sense to me, yesterday I just got into a complete, I'd say like a brain fart. I was completely lost for most of yesterday. I didn't know whether I was on the right track. I didn't know if the world was going to see this work and be as excited about this work as I am. And I suddenly wondered whether I was doing the right thing and whether I was on the right track. And there is one person, a guy called Matt, a friend of mine who I've shared this work with in the past. And he's the only person that I've shown it to. And he's implemented some of the stuff that I've done. And he's he has seen the stuff that I'm doing and he's implemented in his life. And he's seen some amazing results. And he's become really a person that I can speak to about this stuff. And when I told him that I was having a meltdown yesterday and I would got completely stuck and was feeling a little bit um, feeling a little bit just I don't know lost he just said to me that um, when an artist goes down a specific path doing something that hasn't been done before it doesn't come with a manual that lets you know that you're on the right path where when you get stuck you can just refer to how it's been done before as a blueprint to be able to know that you're on the right track because if you had that you wouldn't be doing something completely new and that's really where I am and I'm not suggesting that law of attraction is new by no stretch of the imagination but the work that I'm doing is a way to try and describe it and the way that I'm trying to create routine and a simple framework that people can use hasn't been done before in this way and as a result I'm sort of pioneering this path on my own which has felt amazing until yesterday and then I get stuck 
and I got really stuck yesterday and I tackled it initially the way I tackle everything which is just put my head down and just go more and more and more just trying to muscle my way through it and the more I did that the more it didn't make sense and the more I realized that I'm doing exactly the stuff that my teaching of law of attraction says you mustn't do things are supposed to be in a natural elegant flow and if you're starting to force something there's a reason that it's not flowing it doesn't mean that it's not going to be hard work and that there's not going to be challenges it just means that when you get to sticky places sometimes you need to take a step back walk away think about something else do something else for a while as a way to get back onto the track that you are on so i wanted to put that out there today because today is a probably one of my first vlogs where i'm putting my hands up and being like meh yeah because that's how i feel about it um i am feeling a bit better today than i was yesterday and um the voice note that i got from my mate has put me back in the right direction and cleared things up for me I had given myself some pretty tight deadlines to get this program out and I wanted to have my web class launched this week and I've decided just to take a breath and to maybe launch it next week but um, to not work on it for the next couple of days and hopefully yeah maybe find that flow again that'll come that I've been so lucky to have had the last few months and again to appreciate what I had yesterday as the contrast that I need in order to know the things that I want and this is at the base of everything you know like how is it that you know what it is that you want in your life you know that I want this because most of the time we don't want something else I want money because I don't want to be poor I want to have a relationship because I don't want to be single but you need to appreciate the singleness and the lack of money and the getting stuck and feeling frustrated to be able to appreciate the flow that you have that comes from doing the stuff that gets you onto the path that you're aligned with the best version of yourself. So I am uh, signing off and I'm going to take some time to do something completely different. Maybe that involves a walk on the beach. Maybe I'll walk the dogs. Maybe I'll do both. Till next time, see you.